Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the show Dev Chanel's 40th World YouTube channel okay make sure you like and subscribe and share my videos okay but definitely like and share my share that girl stuff my stuff my stuff I'm that girl okay but that's Cynthia Bailey and that's Peter Thomas. They once were married and they showed their love on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And uh, uh, I'm going to say Patricia. But Peter Thomas was a uh, husband on the Housewives show. And Lord knows whenever Cynthia was being filmed, he kept made sure he kept in every scene he could possibly get in okay i was there for him because him and todd were the only ones that were running around there running amok okay todd was spending candy money and peter was uh, spending cynthia okay but we got a new thing that's out here on social media honey this young gentleman by the name of takashi 69 okay if you haven't heard of him google him and he was more so in the rap game and the gang game was considered a snitch. Okay. From what uh, Snoop Dogg and some more homies had to put down on the uh, streets. Okay. Throughout the 50 states. Okay. They had to let him know he was a snitch. But it is what it is. Okay. He said he was spending all that time in jail. He going to drop down. Now, I guess you're wondering why... I'm putting these two together. Well, unbeknownst to most of us, okay. Peter Thomas has a restaurant, Bar One in Miami, right? And coincidentally, I just got finished doing, I think it was two things. Or it might have been one thing on Ray J. can't remember at this time. Everything's crashing together because I've been videotaping a lot. And I usually hold my videos and spread them out throughout the week. So that's pretty much what I'm doing. And I've done about five videos, I believe. So this is my last one for tonight. And then I am going to Betty Bye. But again, thank you for coming over to Deb Snell's 48th World YouTube channel. Remember to share this girl's stuff. I'm that girl. Share my stuff. Share, share, share. Like the videos, okay? If you like and love... You gotta have more of these type of videos put them in the comment section that you love 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 you love it okay and i would keep drilling them out putting them out for you all to partake of okay just simple easy as one two three a b c all right but um this young gentleman he was in miami and i guess peter got it going on down there in miami it must be the hottest scene on the floor down there in the South, okay? But anyway, this young man did his due with the justice system, and he paid his time. And his money is good. Peter Arms owns a bar, lounge, or whatever you want to call it, and they serve food. And the a a a a a alcohol. So he must have been buying from the top shelf, okay? But Peter was saying the brother was spending per money green. He don't care what you are, how people see you. If you got the funds to partake in his establishment and keep it going so he can pay himself first, then his employees, you all good in his book. Just long as nothing bounce. And if you're paying in cash, that's even better. All right. But, yeah, this young man. Wanted to sit down with some of his homies, friends, you know, Padres, at Peter Thomas Establishment. And we know he have a pass. Everybody have a pass, okay? How you think we got saved? Um, not saviors, but uh, saints. They had to become a sinner before they became a saint, right? Okay. So why we keep judging folks? Why do we keep doing that? Okay, can a pass lie, lie in the past if they don't pay for it? Can it lie in the past? Can we expect something decent and humane in the uh, future dealings with this person that had a checkered past? Okay, Peter had a checkered past, and we like him. Hopefully, he don't pay for all his debts, but he's still out here in society. Ain't nobody locked him up, okay? But they always be keep they try to keep throwing salt on uh, Peter's name, okay? 
but he keep clapping back and keep coming back strong. I don't know where he get this money from to keep opening up all these different lounges and 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 and, and club atmosphere type environments, establishments he gets involved with. But they, some people keep trusting him, keep trusting him, keep trusting him. He like the limelight like too well, so he ain't gonna go hide nowhere. So we can always find Mr. Peter Thomas, be the Peter Peter fucking eat up. Had a wife couldn't keep him. He had several wives and couldn't keep them. But anyway, we know the last famous one he had was Cynthia Bailey on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. But she's no longer there. So we'll just say Peter has come up. But anyway. It seemed like fans. And it's none of my business. I'm just a commentator. I'm just someone who putting stuff out there. Hopefully you enjoy my take on it. My spin. My only opinions. But all of this is allegedly so for only entertainment purposes. Okay, so keep that in mind. But some of his fans or followers were getting on him for letting a criminal eat at his restaurant. I'm like, are you kidding me? And I'm right with Peter. Are you kidding me? If the law say he was good enough to let out amongst society and he has paid his debt financially as well as community service time then hell he good in my book i have an establishment that need customers okay so just long as he ain't coming in now pow 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 you know blowing my stuff up injuring people and such as myself i might get in the crossfire then he good with me spend as much money as you want you can shut that shit down okay you can pay out everything my whole night what i expected to um bring in Go on and just break it off, and you have a private party, a private party, a private party of your own hooked up there in the corner over there, and the rest of this it just be for you know everyday folks, everyday folks, and then they have to go on and go once I really needed to close. But if you want to party a little extra hours after closing time, go ahead, just make it rain on my establishment. And I ain't talking about the rain that falls from the heavenly skies. I'm talking about the ones I can deposit in my checking account. Okay. Yeah, Peter was getting some flack. Yes, he was. Can you imagine that? He was getting some flack. But anyway, from haters or people that were supporting him to say they ain't going to support him no more. Like Peter said, ooh, what y'all going to probably drop in my establishment? You haters. I probably made it two days worth dealing with Takashi 9. He made it rain. He made it thunderstorm, okay? And I'm doing well. So if you don't want to partake of you have an infraction, and, and you don't pay your debts to society. You can't give the, the uh, Takashi 69 the same type of renewal. Uh, you know, or, or, or trying to be a better person. Then forget you. Go on about your business. But he was saying cuss words, y'all. He was saying cuss words. But anyway, we're going to go on into the story. It was written by Madeline Marr. Okay, and it comes directly from the MiamiHerald.com. Okay, and it's titled Reality Star Claps Back at Haters After Takashi 69 Eats at His Miami Beach Restaurant. Okay, yeah, honey. I'm like, when did the naysayers have something to really say when it comes to that bottom line? And that is pay, paying time, okay? Paying time. People don't want promises. They want payment for their services. And that means his employees, they get up there and cook, do the bartending thing, they can do the cleaning, do the serving. Yes, they need to get paid, okay? But anyway, going on to read the article, it says, um, Peter Thomas is a businessman first. He told his Instagram followers on Monday, the former Real Housewives of Atlanta star is facing backlash at the posting or uh, uh, opposing with rapper Takashi 69, who dined at his restaurant Bar One, Miami Beach, over the weekend. Okay, many commenters under Saturday night's original post of the two hanging out said they would no longer frequent. Thomas establishment because the controversial rapper has eaten there. Okay. And I'm like, cast the first stone, people. Cast the first stone who is without sin. That's biblical. Get with it. Going back to the article. Um, but Thomas doesn't care what his haters think about the gummo singer and his criminal background. Okay. 
pissed and he don't give a crap. He, and I got some uh, audio for y'all to hear too. Cause he be getting it in. He be getting it in on his haters. All right. It says Takashi's real name, Daniel Hernandez, has a lengthy rap sheet for someone only 25. In 2018, he was placed in federal custody after getting arrested in New York on racketeering and firearms charges and sentenced to two years. After testifying against members of the nine Trey Gangsta Bloods and providing details of the gang's inner workings, the Gummo singer was released early but never could shake his snitch label. Okay, of course, you know, if you snitch, you snitch, you ain't gonna get that, um, that love back on the streets. It just is what it is. Okay, but Peter went on to say, mind your business. Okay, mind your business, said Thomas, when he captioned his video. I open my restaurant to serve food and drinks to everyone. The only type of people that I would not cater to is child molesters, people who commit rape, and racist mo uh, mother efforts. Okay, everybody else is welcome. I'm like, well, good God Almighty, honey. Good God Almighty. Well, Peter, how do you know you're not serving child molesters, people that have actually raped somebody? And if they're not showing that they're racist, how do you know that you're not serving racist people? Come on, Peter. Come on. It's not like they're going to have a sign on their back in front or in the back saying, I am a child molester. I am a, um, what he said, I committed rape on somebody and, and now I'm a racist person. It's not going to come like that, Peter. It's not going to come like that, all right, all the time. Anyway. Thomas went on to say in a video that Takashi made all the right moves, made a reservation, arrived with 10 people, ordered bottle service, spent a ton of money, and conducted himself accordingly. Okay? Peter said he did all the checkpoints that he wanted for any human being to do if they patron his establishment. He passed all the... Uh, the checkpoints and he let him in he said dine on brother dine on all right <clears throat> then it goes on to say Takashi 69 wild concert in Orlando has to be shut down at the rapper jumps into the crowd and he kind of crazy why are you gonna jump into the crowd you don't know what them crowds are like you don't know if them crowds was for you or not Takashi 69 you just throw caution to the wind baby now what if they just start ramming your butt to the flow then it would just been a misunderstanding right but anyway when you are in that element and that entertainment side, anything can happen and it usually does. Okay. But going back, wasn't in that article or latest article, which is my side part. You know I get with my opinions. It says the gentleman was polite as F U C K, said the ex reality star who added that customers are how wait a minute. Who added that customers are how he is able to pay his 75 plus employee salary. Now I'm not involved with this man's life. But I do have a business to run. So kiss my mother. Okay. Effing. Ours. Ours. Okay. All right. All righty then. So let's go and see if we can play any of the footage. Because he was dropping some knowledge. Peter was pr pretty much right now. He was like, hey, I ain't uh, trying to um put this man on or nothing like that. I got a restaurant. He hungry. He thirsty. I'm going to feed him. Okay? That's what I'm going to do. But let's see what Peter says in his audio from his Instagram account. just playing fun on his account showing you know what was going on with him and Takashi they were having a good time they were drinking they were eating you know that's a big celebration when you got your 
uh goons or, or your your ride or die partners with you and y'all all eating good the food good the look good everything's good in the neighborhood and so peter was just expressing that one part on his uh social media platform now after he posted that i guess uh, some people didn't like that man so he had to come back and clap for the negative and this is what he said okay hey instagram world i like it when y'all get in a frenzy over some shit that y'all don't got nothing to do with because a lot of y'all don't have no fucking life <laughs> okay so takashi 69 came to my restaurant and spent some money on Saturday and make a reservation like everybody else. Came there with 10 people, did his bottle service, eat his great food that we provide here at Bar One, and soak in the great atmosphere that we have at Bar One. Okay, and I went over there, and they, I, they told me who he was. I went over there, just make sure everybody's cool. All right, the, the gentleman was polite as fuck. All right, and I posted, he got 22 million followers. Now, I'm not involved with this man's life, but I do have a restaurant to run. All right, and part of my restaurant business is to make sure I sell my VIP and make sure I make as much money that I can staff the 75 people plus that work for me. All right, a lot of y'all have shit to say because I posted, you kiss my motherfucking ass because I couldn't care two fucks about what y'all feel. Okay, anyone that make a reservation to come here to eat and conduct themselves in a mannerly, respectfully manner. I'm with it. What y'all think? I don't give a fuck. See ya. And that's what Peter Thomas had to say about all his followers. <laughs> if he has any more after that display of what he felt about everybody trying to jump on the negative bandwagon about this young man coming in, trying to eat good, trying to um relax, chill. And enjoy some of the spirits, okay? He that's all he wanted to do. He wasn't bringing no uh gang related stuff to the uh the bar or whatnot. And I mean he is in Miami and that's where a lot of our uh celebrities go and partake of the beach area and they go for the nightlife. So Peter happens to be one of those um entities or entrepreneurs out there. That has a good location and has great food, great service, and he, evidently he attracts a lot of celebrities as well. And he has to do what he has to do to feed himself and his family and his staff. So he said he don't care what y'all think, honey. Y'all can kiss his red behind, okay? His black chocolate behind. Because he's going to make his money and he's going to feed his people okay or, or take care of his uh workers and that was that and that's all of all that's all folks okay all right <laughs> peter got some people told okay these people be thinking they run peter but he's like you don't run me you don't run me honey you don't run me you come and patron my business and i make sure everything is on point but that's all your opinions keep them to yourself because i have no indication of applying them to my life and where i live that's what peter said he didn't say it in those that work but that's what he was going with y'all that's what he was going with he was checking people he would check picking them up and shutting them down okay he like don't start with me don't want none of this you don't want this smoke peter said because <laughs> he would get on the instagram account he would call michelle atl and all his other heavy hitters in social media and he would bring down the house he said he don't care just as long as they got the money, they're respectful, and they do what they need to do, and don't be bothering nobody else in the establishment, they cool with him. They cool with him. <laughs> but that's all I got, Lord. I had to just bring that on Peter, because Peter always has something to say. He always be funny when he say it and be on point. And he just, you know, he stick to what he says, and he says what he's, he's going to do. You know, he said what he said, and he stuck to it. So him and Nene need to get together <laughs> and date. Ooh, that would be hilarious. Him and Nene dating and probably getting married. Ooh, that would be a sight for sore eyes, but it would be hilarious. It would be hilarious. But okay, you know, opposites attract. 
opposites attract but that's all i had of this video guys if y'all like it love you gotta have more comment in the comment section and i will be racking them out for you you know it's none of my business but if it's something i feel i need to talk about i'm gonna bring it to the platform and send it on out to you all but as in parting share this girl stuff share me out share me out share me out and like the video and i will see y'all next time good night